Hi guys and girls, welcome to Zilla Cabs. Uh, this week's video, we've got the Eminence Swamp thing. Uh, a customer of ours placed an order for a Super Fat Boy cab. Um, it's a closed back version. He, he plays some quite heavy styles of music and he loves the Eminence Swamp thing. So we thought we'd stick them in a cab and give it a whirl. But before we go any further, um, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for when we bring out new videos. And um, if, you, if you like this, give it a thumbs up as well. As always, you're the chap that plays, <laughs> plays through the speakers in the video. So yeah. what, what did you think? How did you get on with him? Um, so I think this is maybe the third different eminent speaker I've played. Uh, I played the Governors and the Alessandro ones that I yeah, really yeah. liked. Um, and these ones, I said, are aimed at, I had a little look online and they're aimed at the heavier side of things, yeah. down tuning. So I tried uh, some more of that sort of stuff for this video. And for me, um, it was cool sound, but it was a little bit on the darker side, yeah. side of things. When I listened back, I had a slight suspicion, or not suspicion, but my question would be how well would that sit in a, a traditional kind of mix? Mm. Uh, I think you maybe have to be ever so careful. Yeah, um, maybe it's just a case of dialing, it, dialing the amps like differently to what I would used to be doing for this sort of sound but yeah um, I think it was they were still cool though it had a um, I mean they definitely sounded heavy yeah I thought when I which was years back when I first played the Swamp Thing I just assumed that with the name it was like a uh, I don't know country mm. slash kind of Texas rock yeah kind that makes of sense aimed speaker um, so the specs on this it's 150 watt mm. um I don't, did you find it sounded particularly clean? Um, it didn't. Break. I, I did. I didn't look up the specs, uh, so I didn't. I wasn't aware it's 150 watts, and I wouldn't have heard that in it. It didn't no. sound like crystal clear, like sort of. Didn't have that EV sound to it. If you know no, I mean. often what you'll find is with the more high powered speakers, they'll be a little bit more towards the kind of PA end of things, where they're like an EV, where. Mm where it'd be really, really clean and clinical. It yeah. didn't really sound like that to me on the recordings. No, it's definitely a warmer sound. Um, slightly darker, as I say, than I'm, than I'm used to, I think, but um, definitely a, a, a sound worth checking out if you're into heavier stuff. Yeah. I think uh, sometimes when brands do stuff aimed at heavy, they think that you have to have a load of low end capabilities. Yeah, I, I find that a little bit with the K100. Yeah, and it's it's not always the case with when you're using loads of gain and down tuning. Sometimes you want to remove a little bit of that low end to get some clarity or have a nice balance of it, but not have like too much woofy stuff. Yeah, happening. sure, because you don't want to be stepping on the bass's toes. Yeah. I think quite often when you're playing any gear, um, it's quite easy to be instantly pleased in a room, mm. but you've got to think, how is this going to sound like in the band? Yeah, right. You don't want to be stepping on anyone, so you want to, you have your own space in the mix. Yeah, totally. So I, I know this is aimed at a heavy style um, or heavy players, but I, I tried out with some other styles as well. I think I played. Uh, what did I play? Low again. Yeah, that's probably the other, <laughs> the other option. Isn't it? Um, and yeah, it handled those kind of things pretty well. Um, yeah. Nothing remarkable there for me with with those speakers, but um, yeah, still still great usable tones. I like, I kind of liked them. Nice yeah. bit of warmth in there. Yeah. I think I'm just so used to Celestians these days that it's just I think that's just where my ear takes me. But you know, there's it's great to have all these options. Um, to guitarists so we don't all sound the same <laughs> yeah no that's true and it's um, that's why I wanted to video this spe uh, this cab with these speakers mm. in because um, it's not just about Celestian no. I mean like you said earlier the, the Alessandro speakers are one of but the best speakers I I've played heard. recently yeah, yeah that's, that's yes. amazing that's yeah. fantastic yeah. I think that, um, I'd say kind of down the G1265 kind of route for me yeah or that kind of vibe yeah um, great for those kind of styles mm. okay so as always we've jabbered on for a little while um i think the best thing now to do is for us all to listen to joe play the speakers <laughs>